Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about rational exponent equations. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, 3125 equals a negative 1 minus 18p, all to the 5 thirds power. I'm going to solve this equation. Well, what I want to do first here is I have a 5 thirds power, and I need to get rid of that exponent. So I'm going to raise both sides to the 3 fifths power and make sure it's both sides. The right hand, or left hand side, excuse me, becomes just the fifth root of 3125, all of that raised to the third power. But what about the right hand side? When we raise, we take an exponent, 5 thirds, and we raise it to the 3 fifths, we multiply these exponents. So negative 1 minus 18p is now raised to the 5 thirds times 3 fifths, which is a 1. So now let's go simplify the left hand side. The fifth root of 3, 1, 2, 5 is a 5. We raise that to the third power. Right? So the fifth root of 3, 1, 2, 5 comes out to be just be 5. Raise that just to the third power, bring that down. The right hand side is just a minus 1 minus 18p. Don't need the first power anymore. 5 to the third power is 125, and this looks familiar now. We have it equal to negative 1 minus 18p, and we're just solving like we normally do. We add a 1 to both sides. We have 126 now equals a negative 18p. Divide both sides by a negative 18, and what do we get? Well, p is by itself here. Don't forget that. And 126 divided by negative 18 is a negative 7, and I flipped it over. And so my final answer here is p equals a negative 7. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.